And on the day one edition of Monday Night Raw, we bring to you a massive six-man tag team main event as the almighty Bobby Lashley teams with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to take on some arch rivals in the street champ Solo Sokoa, the newcomer Joe Gacy, and the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. That's live right here tonight at Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, Washington. Happy New Year once more, ladies and gentlemen. And just six nights before the 2024 Royal Rumble, the Rated R Superstar Edge is live on Raw and is in action on this day one edition of the Red Brand. This Sunday night, he meets the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar for the first time in over 20 years. But tonight, in a first time ever matchup versus Carmelo Hayes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds. Edge! The rated R superstar Edge, a free agent now in the WWE. Taking his talents to Monday Night Raw over the last few weeks and has had the target on his back by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. It is nothing personal from what we understand by Lesnar, but Lesnar looks at Edge, a Hall of Famer, as a man he can take down and proclaim his spot at the front of the line for either a future WWE or a World Championship opportunity. Lesnar meets Edge this Sunday night in Las Vegas, but this matchup on hand, an opportunity for Carmelo Hayes to punch his name as one of the top stars to look out for in 2024 on Monday Night Raw. First time ever meeting tonight, and it should be a good one, live from Seattle. And his opponent, accompanied by Trick Williams, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Their paths have not crossed for over 20 years, but this Sunday the bell will sound in T-Mobile Arena, and the rated R superstar Edge will meet the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and a matchup that may just have huge implications on who is going to be next to challenge for major championship gold, whether it be on Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown. A matchup between two free agents here in the WWE, a status that's not rewarded to many, but obviously Edge, a Hall of Famer, Lesnar, a 20-plus year veteran. Those two men have only met once before back in 2002 in one-on-one -on -one action. This Sunday night, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, 5 p.m. Eastern time. They go at it again. What an opportunity on hand for Carmelo Hayes as we kick off the day one edition of Monday Night Raw. And the crowd high and heavy here in Seattle. We are sold out tonight from the Climate Pledge Arena. Everyone in anticipation of this Sunday's Royal Rumble and of the action on hand here on the Red Brand. What a, what a matchup, excuse me, to kick off 2024. First time that bell sounded of the new year. Edge and Carmelo Hayes, already established Hall of Famer, a veteran of the squared circle versus a man who is not even in his prime yet in Carmelo Hayes. Hayes is the man that people have pinned as a future main event player here on Raw. He's very well may become one of the cornerstones of WWE one day. And it's matches like this that really take you to the next level. Sink or swim for Carmelo Hayes tonight. Remember for the rated R superstar. Just a few weeks ago went one on one with the WWE champion Seth Rollins and the title may not have been on the line on that night. But a whole lot of momentum and opportunity were and that match was spoiled. And so was the homecoming for Edge in Toronto spoiled by the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. This is what Edge is going to have to look out for tonight. This matchup getting spoiled by the possible handicap situation with Trick Williams at ringside. Carmelo Hayes, all the talent in the world and tons of potential to be a main event star one day, but certainly not afraid to get his hands dirty and strike when his opponent's not necessarily aware of his surroundings. And Melo finding Edge in the drop zone. And the man they call him is in control right now here in Seattle. This could be a huge momentum builder for Carmelo Hayes as he enters his first Royal Rumble matchup. One of 30 superstars this Sunday night in T-Mobile Arena. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown. One golden opportunity hanging in the balance. It's a main event WrestleMania this coming March. 
Mello again with the toe pace to Asita on an already downed edge, and Mello finding his groove in the opening matchup tonight. Former NXT North American champion, former Cruiserweight champion, with Trick Williams by his side, this duo has certainly made an impact on Raw this far ever since their debut back in May, but can Carmelo Hayes win the biggest matchup of his career tonight? It wins a pitfall victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley dating back to the late summer, and here we go again with Trick Williams sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Edge has got to keep his eye on Trick, keep his eye on Melo, and also not get ahead of himself looking towards that matchup with Brock Lesnar this Sunday night. Of course, the Royal Rumble will be live this Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, your first live premiere event of 2024. All where the road to WrestleMania begins. Going to be a massive night of action, and so is tonight. Big six-man tag team matchup coming your way in your main event. Of course, Edge locking hordes with Carmelo Hayes right now. Hall of Famer versus a future piece of the red brand. And also still to come, the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, going to have her hands full with the Queen of Hearts, Natalya. Natalya picked up that tag team win last week alongside Liv Morgan, taking down Rhea and, and Blair Davenport, excuse me. Natalya will meet Rhea later tonight in one-on-one -on -one action. All that action coming your way here tonight in Climate Pledge Arena. And so much momentum hanging in the balance for the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Right now, Edge just trying to get back into this matchup, realizing he does have his hands full tonight with not only the talents of Carmella Hayes, but once again, Trick Williams at ringside, who is doing all he can in this match to take Edge's eye off the ball, and it's really paying Melo dividends. Carmelo Hayes, well, he's got himself a good luck charm at ringside, if you will, but Edge has made the most in situations throughout his career by being the ultimate opportunist and somehow, sometimes having his back up against the wall like it is tonight. Edge cannot get over Ellis. Cannot look through Carmelo Hayes, knowing he's got Brock Lesnar this Sunday. He has got a fight like his life depends on it, and his momentum for Sunday certainly does. I'll tell you what, Edge willing to throw, tossing in the wind, and it does not work out for the Rated R Superstar. Crash and burn, Melo did his homework. Edge going over the top rope, a maneuver we have seen out of the arsenal of the Rated R Superstar in the past. Obviously, Carmelo Hayes has done his homework on Edge over the last seven days. Melo looking to kick off the new year with the biggest win of his career, and then looking to top it this Sunday in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. Melo may be a future piece of Raw, but he may become the now piece of Monday Night Raw main event if he can get the Ws this week. Oh, remains to be seen. I'll tell you what, right now, Edge is down, and Edge just may be out. Let us not forget that two weeks ago, Edge left, was left laying inside the squared circle with not one but two F5s by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. How has that worn on Edge? Or remains to be seen, but there's Edge trying to get the wheels back on the track, and again, Trick Williams not allowing Edge even a glimmer of hope in this thing. But Edge's gonna keep on fighting. Mello cuts him off. Man, Edge is really fighting an uphill battle tonight. Sold out Climate Pledge Arena. We want to thank you for joining us on the first edition of Raw in 2024, the day one edition. What bigger way to kick off your new year than with some Monday Night Raw action on the road to this Sunday's Royal Rumble. Meanwhile, Mello into the cover. Not just yet, Edge is still on the way. Mello cannot get frustrated here, realizing who he's in the ring with, that being a Decorated superstar, a Hall of Famer and Edge. Mello going to the top, could be looking for the slam dunk, but Edge gives it to Mello his own self. Power bomb reversal, but of course, again, Edge not able to take advantage. At least so far, Trick Williams taking Edge's eye off the ball, but there's Mello getting caught in the hands of the ultimate opportunist. Edge has done it all, he has seen it all. Whether Mello and Trick are going to try to outnumber Edge tonight, Edge has got a trick or two up his sleeve. On the top, Mello goes. Once again, has it scouted. Edge is really having trouble picking up the pace in this match. And what a mean Uranagi. Almost right through the canvas. 
Edge still into it, but how much is left in the tank of the Rated R Superstar? And I'll add another layer to that cake. Edge coming into this matchup with Melo tonight, and at some point, if Edge does not find himself in the driver's seat and the offense continues to stack up, surviving is one thing, thriving is another. Edge does not want to risk injury on the road to fighting Brock Lesnar this Sunday night at the Royal Rumble. I'm not saying give up this matchup and hand a victory to Carmelo Hayes, but obviously the stakes higher than ever against the Beast on Sunday. Edge may have to weigh his option in the heat of battle. Here's Edge, not gonna give up just yet, using his body as a weapon. Rated R superstar, looking to add on to his Hall of Fame career. He was chasing the World Championship on SmackDown throughout 2023. It did not go his way. Luckily, the free agent status coming about. And now Edge taking some of his talents to Monday Night Raw, hoping to earn an opportunity at the WWE Championship in the near future. A win tonight and a win against Brock Lesnar on Sunday could very well do just that. All remains to be seen, and Edge sending Melo to the corner, but into the enemy territory, if you will. Trick Williams, at some point the referee's got to be stepping in and possibly sending Trick to the back. Edge is truly fighting a handicap match if I say so myself. Now Melo, impressive as always, you can't knock the effort, the talent of the young Carmelo Hayes. There's Edge, not looking to give Melo what he wants tonight. Some great action kicking us off in the day one edition of Raw first contest of 2024. And look at Edge, Frankensteiner sending Melo dead center of the canvas. We said earlier Edge willing to throw caution in the wind. That time it worked out and so did the execution. Not just yet though, the three count not in Edge's sight. Melo still into this fight. Great effort by Carmelo Hayes like him or not. And you know what, damn it, a great effort by Trick Williams as well. At some point, the referee's got to step in. It starts to get a little frustrating as we see Edge trying to build momentum, but really unable to because of this damn near handicap situation. And once again, Melo back in control thanks to the help of his running buddy, Trick Williams. Nonetheless, Edge dropping Melo again. Obviously not feeling 100% after that execution moments ago, but the pendulum of momentum starting to swing back and forth. Royal Rumble looming on Sunday night. Both these men looking to build momentum towards their respective contest. Edge O'Matic there, certainly gonna add some more damage, but not the victory the Rated R Superstar was hoping for. Now th this is getting ridiculous. I mean, to be perfectly honest, and look at that. Edge distracted just in the slightest moment by Trick, and the double knees might have just knocked the Hall of Famer out cold. At some point, the referee's got to step in, because it's starting to get ridiculous. Carmelo Hayes unable to take advantage. Obviously, endurance starting to play a factor. But nonetheless, the momentum and the ball in Melo's court. And he's looking for the slam dunk here tonight. Did not work out earlier. Edge caught it with the power bomb. Will he be able to succeed later on in this match? To the outside we go, and I don't know if this is where Edge wants to be, on the outskirts of the squared circle, with Trick Williams looming at ringside and Melo in control. I don't like this for the rated R superstar right now. You gotta wonder what's going through Brock Lesnar's head. We talked about it last week, the rumors circulating in the backstage area. This is really nothing personal for Brock. He just sees Edge as a free agent, a Hall of Famer, and sees Edge having the opportunity that Lesnar, Lesnar desires. Brock wants to beat Edge, knowing that'll make a statement at the Royal Rumble and find his way into a championship matchup in the coming weeks following. All remains to be seen what the result's gonna be on Sunday. Will Lesnar get his wish? Will Edge be able to move one step closer to a WWE title matchup? All remains to be seen. Right now, Edge is just gonna focus on the task at hand. But I got a feeling Melo may be reaching the finish line first. Edge is still alive. Credit where credit's due. You can never count out the Hall of Famer. But I don't know. Melo may just be not missing once more tonight. Edge is really having trouble securing the momentum in this matchup. Melo has been in the driver's seat 
damn near 75% of this fight. Edge sent into the corner once more. Here comes Mello, nobody home. And the Rated R Superstar now. Trying to build some momentum. A little bit left in the tank. Can the Hall of Famer succeed in battle tonight? Overcome this damn near handicap situation against Carmelo Hayes. What has Edge got in mind? Taking Melo's talents back to the top rope. Edge gonna meet him there. Oh, this is a precarious situation going for the back body drop, but Melo counters all the weight of Melo crashing down on Edge into the cover. Edge is still alive. What a matchup to kick things off in 2024. Seattle, Washington in appreciation of the talents of Carmelo Hayes, the talents of the Rated R Superstar Edge, and the showcase of excellence these two men are showing right now. Great counter by Melo moments ago, like him or not. Now what has he got in mind here as Edge is surviving, not necessarily thriving. Swinging neck breaker, Edge goes down. Edge pop it up. Big time counter, Mello. Not just yet. Gotta wonder what's going through Brock's mind. He may be loving seeing this competitive matchup with Edge tonight. Knowing Edge is putting out some endurance, and here we go yet again. Here we go yet again. Mello on the outside, and so is the X Factor and Trick Williams. You know, it's hard to just brush off somebody when they're yelling and screaming and waving at you at ringside when you're trying to focus on the fight. Edge has got to do his best to just put Trick Williams out of his mind. Nonetheless, Edge meeting Mello on the Brett's rope. Going for a little hangman's neck breaker delivered to perfection. Seattle, Washington coming unglued. Climate Pledge Arena in awe of what is looking to be a comeback for the Rated R Superstar. And here we go again. This time Edge gets his wish. Big time backdrop from the top rope. But how much did that take out of Edge? Melo may be down, but the Rated R Superstar may only have so much left in the fuel tank. Holler and elbow, edge matic once more. Edge trying to stack some offense, and that is what he's got to do against the young, hungry Carmelo Hayes. Back into the corner he goes. Edge, full head of steam, nobody home. Float over DDT, and just like that, Melo's back in control. Ruling competitive matchup here on the day one edition of Monday Night Raw. Edge off the counter, taking out the knee. Who is going to gain the momentum? Keep it. Stay in the driver's seat. Beat their opponent to the finish line. I'll tell you what, the Royal Rumble looming six nights from tonight. These two men may be going in on the... running on absolute fuels. Come Las Vegas on Sunday. Hello sent to the corner once more, and these two men starting to slow down. Fatigue obviously setting in. As Edge, nice bulldog. Not going for the cover just yet. What does Edge have in mind as he goes back to the middle rope? Drops an elbow and gets all of it. Carmelo Hayes may be down, but Edge may be looking for an exclamation point. Into the ropes he goes. Spear! A spear by Edge into the cover. Melo's still into it. Wow. Credit where credit's due, Carmelo Hayes is still in this fight, but Edge going back to the corner, looking for a second consecutive spear. Oh, this time Melo countered. We talked about earlier, Melo doing his homework. That time he saw the spear coming and he got Edge with the DDT. Man, whether you like Melo or not, you gotta give him credit. Edge sidesteps him, stacking him up with the pinfall here. And he got him! Edge scores the victory! Wow! What a matchup to kick things off tonight on your day one edition of Monday Night Raw! Well, you know what? 
take Trick Williams and that X Factor in this match out of it. You got to give credit to the young Carmelo Hayes. He gave Edge a fight and he fought to the very end with the Rated R Superstar showing that with his veteran status, he just had one more trick up his sleeve. Here is your winner. Carmelo Hayes upset at the defeat, but nothing to be ashamed of in my eyes. He takes his talents to the Royal Rumble match this Sunday. And speaking of Sunday night, the Rated R Superstar Edge got the job done here on Monday Night Raw. But can he get the job done against the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, live this Sunday night in Las Vegas, Nevada? The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024 for the Royal Rumble. As announced last week, the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic is coming your way in two separate tournaments. And as for Monday Night Raw, those festivities begin next week. Eight teams will enter. The finals taking place at the Elimination Chamber at the end of January. The winners of the tournament challenge for the World Tag Team titles at WrestleMania. Let's take a look at the eight teams that will be involved in the Monday Night Raw Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The Street Profits set to lock horns with the Brawling Brutes, making their Monday Night Raw debut the 2022 Dusty Classic winners down in NXT, the Creed Brothers, Brutus and Julius. They will face Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy. Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes set the battle pretty deadly, and a to-be-announced tag team will challenge the losers of the World Tag Team title match this Sunday at the Rumble, whether that be the Judgment Day or the New Day. Eight teams enter. Who will be the last team remaining in a number of weeks? But next week on Monday Night Raw, the first round begins as the Carolina boys, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes team up to take on Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. And also coming your way next week on Raw, the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford return to action to take on the former World Tag Team Champions, the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland. The Raw side of the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicks off live next week on Raw. Cannot wait to see how that tournament plays out. There's still some mysteries in the bracket to be revealed. It's gonna be a fun couple of weeks to determine who is the winners of the Raw side of the Dusty Classic and who will challenge for the World Tag Team Gold in March at WrestleMania. But on hand right now in Seattle, the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, has got her hands full in an old rivalry being reignited with the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. The WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, six nights ahead of defending her gold against the number one contender, Liv Morgan, a former Women's Champion in her own right. That's gonna be a hell of a match this Sunday, but the whole reason we have Rhea and Natalia on her hands because of the events last week on Raw, Natalia teaming up with said number one contender, Liv Morgan, to take on Blair Davenport and the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Natalia with that discus lariat, knocking out Blair in the middle of the squared circle and picking up the win for her tandem. That did not sit well with Rhea Ripley and with a championship match ahead this Sunday, Rhea challenging Natalia to a one-on-one -on -one matchup, non-title of course, here tonight in Seattle. 
These two women, no strangers to each other. A couple of battles earlier this year, one of those including a Canadian street fight that was won by that woman, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. All remains what's going to happen this Sunday night in Sin City between Rhea, Liv, and the championship. And here we go, live on Raw, Natalia looking for the quick victory. Small package here, referee a little out of position. Natalia knows what she is up against tonight. One of the most feared and dominating women in recent history in the women's division, that being Rhea Ripley. The 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, as voted by you, the fans. Held the Money in the Bank briefcase, cashed it in successfully. And has reigned with that championship ever since. Two defenses over the man, Becky Lynch. We haven't seen Becky Lynch since Survivor Series. Nursing some injuries for that Extreme Rules match back in November. And then just a number of weeks ago, Rhea de successfully defending her championship against Alba Fire in Detroit at Armageddon. And now Rhea looks towards Liv Morgan this Sunday night. Liv has been a house of fire since her return to Monday Night Raw. Wins a singles victory over Blair Davenport back in London, England in October. Now Liv looks to take down Rhea this Sunday for the championship she held for a short time back in 2023. Wait a minute, don't take your eyes off the Queen of Hearts, Natalia. My goodness. Dropping the axe hammer on Rhea. Natalia out for some blood tonight, if you will. Figuratively, of course, but Natalia seeing this matchup as an opportunity to her earn herself a future WWE Women's Championship matchup, regardless of who, le who leaves Las Vegas at the Royal Rumble with the gold, whether that be Rhea Ripley or Liv Morgan. With the Royal Rumble looming, of course, that kicks off the road to WrestleMania. Natalia may be looking at this matchup as one last chance to put herself in the running to be a part of WrestleMania in just a few months. But Rhea Ripley, obviously, with other plans. Face first off the canvas, she goes into the cover once more. Natalia still in the fight. I'm sure Liv Morgan is watching this matchup somewhere here in the Climate Pledge Arena, scouting her opponent one last time. Not that her and Rhea are any strangers to each other. They have tangled in the past, but this is certainly going to be the most high-profile matchup those two women have ever encountered with each other. Championships on the line at one of the biggest nights of the WWE calendar in a sold-out T-Mobile arena. Anything can happen in Sin City. Oh, and there's Natalia with that discus lariat that won her and Liv the tag team matchup last week. And, of course, that move was delivered to Blair Davenport. And I mean no disrespect to Blair, but Rhea Ripley, a completely different animal. The matchup rolls forward, and Rhea Ripley still in this fight. Discus Lariat did not work, but maybe Rhea is going to bring this thing to a close on her own accord. Rip tie. Thanks for coming, Natalia. Rhea Ripley as dominant as ever. The women's champion of Monday Night Raw with another victory. But will the result be the same this Sunday night in Sin City? Here is your winner, Rhea. Oh, wait a minute. The number one contender, Liv Morgan in the ring. And reminding Rhea Ripley, what is to come this Sunday? The stakes couldn't be higher than ever between Liv and Rhea when the WWE Women's Championship is on the line live this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. The time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's attention now? There's nothing I could say. Nothing I could say. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. 
what will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year. A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024 for the Royal Rumble. It is the first live premiere event of 2024, and it's coming your way this Sunday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. It is the Royal Rumble. And coming your way this Sunday in Las Vegas, the World Tag Team Championship will be on the line. The Judgment Day retained in the ladder match last week, but will they be able to get through? One of the greatest tag teams of all time, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods representing the New Day this Sunday in Sin City. The Rated R Superstar Edge, successful against Carmelo Hayes at the top of the hour, but will he be able to survive? The Beast Incarnate! Brock Lesnar, it's a matchup 20 plus years in the making. Edge, Lesnar, one on one. And you wanna talk about a high stakes matchup for the A-list superstar, The Miz. He called out the returning, best in the world, CM Punk. And seven nights ago, The Miz able to break his record breaking losing streak. But can he survive CM Punk this Sunday? The Women's World Championship from SmackDown on the line in an Armageddon rematch. Bianca Belair was with, within inches of taking that gold back in Detroit. Can the second time be a charm when she meets the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler? The Friday Night SmackDown main event featuring this David vs. Goliath collision. The World Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance as the future of Flight Ricochet looks to use his high-flying abilities to topple the ring general, Gutha! Moments ago, these two women came face to face. This Sunday, all bets are off as the WWE Women's Championship is on the line as former champion Liv Morgan looks to take down the dominating Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. In the Monday Night Raw main event, it is a triple threat equation for the WWE Championship. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the street champ, Solo Sokoa, and the champion himself, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. All stars collide for the WWE title. And it only happens once a year. It is 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, colliding in the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Who will punch their ticket to the main event of WrestleMania this March? Who will be the last man standing? Who will be the one earning a championship opportunity at the grandest stage? We find out this Sunday, live in T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, at the first live premier event of the new year, the Royal Rumble! The following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. Three weeks ago at the Slammy Award edition of Raw, Joe Gacy successful in his debut against Sami Zayn, and it was a physical altercation at that. But Gacy was not satisfied with just a victory. Out to make a statement on his debut at the Red Brand, ambushing Sami Zayn, a weakened and battered and broken Sami Zayn at that, after the bell. Sami Zayn returning to action tonight in the midst of this six-man tag team matchup, and you gotta believe he is out for some retribution against the man who used him as a stepping stone just a few weeks ago. Joe Gacy, alongside one of his tag team partners tonight, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion and Cross, punching their ticket for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic in just a few weeks. How will they fare standing side by side for the first time here on the day one edition of Raw? And of course, Gacy and Karrion Cross, not only set for the Dusty T Tag Team Classic, but also set for the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday. And I'll tell you what, a whole lot of momentum riding on the line as it always is, as we inch closer and closer to the 30-man festivities. And the Harbinger of Doom carrying cross, just like Joe Gacy, has had the blood on his hands over the last few weeks. 
Two weeks ago, Kevin Owens took on Gacy, looking to do one good for his tag team partner, his best friend, Sami Zayn. And as things were going well for the prize fighter, the lights go out in the arena, and who appears on the other side? That being Karrion Cross, playing the mind games and getting the comeuppets over a man who has been a thorn in his side for months, Kevin Owens. Cross has not forgotten about that 3-1 comeback in the Survivor Series tag team match back in November. Owens has not forgotten about the fight, or I should say, Cross has not forgotten about the fight 24 hours later between himself and Kevin Owens, a matchup that saw no conclusion. All these weeks later, Karrion Cross still has Kevin Owens on his mind. And after ambushing him two weeks ago, their pass cross again in the midst of this six-man tag team matchup. A lot of unfinished business there between KO and the Harbinger of Doom. But something's got to give. Whether tonight's the last laugh or not, Cross and Owens looking to tear each other apart here in the day one edition of Monday Night Raw. Tensions riding high on the road to the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Who is going to get the last laugh and be the last men standing here in Climate Pledge Arena? Seattle, Washington has been a great crowd all night long. We once more want to thank you for joining us all around the world at home. Happy New Year once again. Talk about kicking 2024 off with a bang. What a night it has been already. And what a week it is going to be. SmackDown New Year's Revolution on Friday. The Royal Rumble, Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And here comes the enforcer, the street champ himself. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Originally, Lashley was supposed to go one-on-one -on -one with Rollins at the Rumble. But six nights ago, seven nights ago, excuse me, Solo Sokoa taking down the Almighty on the Christmas edition of Raw. One Samoan spike did not do the trick, but double it up, and the pain was too much for even the Almighty to handle. Solo Sokoa toppling the Almighty Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one seven nights ago on Raw, and Solo throwing his name in the hat to possibly leave Las Vegas, Nevada with the WWE Championship. That is something Solo Sokoa has been eyeing for months here on Raw. Not only an opportunity, but bringing the gold home. Will Sunday be the night for the Enforcer? Well, in my eyes, business is about to pick up here at Climate Pledge Arena. The KO and Sammy show is live. And at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn looking to get an even score with Joe Gacy tonight, as is Kevin Owens with Karrion Cross. Issues crossing pass at the crossroads on the road to the Royal Rumble. And I got a feeling fists are going to be flying in just a matter of moments here in Seattle, Washington. Kevin Owens has found himself more successful than not as of late. Will the results be the same tonight? Sami Zayn looking to come back after falling short to Joe Gacy a number of weeks ago. Will he be able to do so? And with this almighty tag team partner by their side, I think the playing field is certainly even. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley can certainly not be in a good mood after what happened last week on Raw. Lashley was looking to settle his own issues with the man who put him on the shelf for nearly two months, Solo Sokoa, last week. Unfortunately, after a grueling battle with the street champ, Lashley was the one staring up at the lights. And because of that loss, Lashley's one-on-one -on -one opportunity to challenge Seth Rollins at the Royal Rumble has now become an anything goes, no count outs, all bets are off, triple threat equation. Lashley's chances of leaving Sin City with the championship, if you're looking at this in Las Vegas numbers, certainly just got cut down a few sizes. All remains to be seen what's going to happen on Sunday. Can't count out Lashley. Can't count out Solo. Certainly can't count out the champion himself, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins.
Nonetheless, here we go. It is main event time of the day one edition of Raw. Kevin Owens, Joe Gacy starting off this matchup, picking up right where they left off two weeks ago. Once more, thank you for joining us. It's been an awesome night of action. We will join you once more live this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is our first live premiere of 2024. You're not going to want to miss it. The road to WrestleMania begins this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. But who is going to go into Royal Rumble with momentum on their side? Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Lashley have all been left laying one way or another by the men that opposed them in this match over the last few weeks. Will they be able to battle back tonight? Or are Gacy, Solo, and Cross going to continue their warpath in more ways than one here on Raw? I'll tell you what, it's an interesting dynamic on the far side of the ring because Kerry and Cross and Solo, I wouldn't necessarily call them partners or friends. Those two men certainly were exchanging some fisticuffs, if you will. Back at Armageddon and Hell in the Cell, but I digress. Maybe New Year, new opportunities. I don't know what's going through the mind of Solo Sokoa and Karrion Cross of all people. Nonetheless, Cross, Gacy, Owen, Zane, four of 15 men that will represent Raw in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday. Who else is going to join the field remains to be seen. Right now, Sami Zayn getting tagged in, and Joe Gacy wanting none of the man he tried to stop out three weeks ago. Harry and Cross going to do his dirty work. Let's see how well Cross and Gacy work as a unit for the first time as they not only look ahead to the Royal Rumble matchup, but also look ahead to fighting the debuting Brutus and Julius Creed's in two weeks here on Monday Night Raw in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Very interesting situation is, wait a minute, we'll hold that thought as Cross with the ankle lock on Sami Zayn. Lashley going to break that up. Lashley and Cross, no strangers to each other. Interesting situation right at the follow in this matchup. And wait a minute, Cross looking to take out the almighty here. Oh, come on now, drop it, Lashley right on the apron. Look out for Sami Zayn, Tope Suicida. Don't take your eyes of a man as motivated as Sami Zayn tonight. Karrion Cross looking to target the almighty Bobby Lashley and doing so once more. Those two men, no strangers to each other. Many's a, many of battles back in the spring and summer here on Monday Night Raw, even met in a tables matchup back in July. Cross and Lashley reigniting their history in the midst of this six-man tag. As we are trying to mention, Marion Cross and Joe Gacy will be battling the Creed Brothers in two weeks' time. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, of course, last year, the first time the Dusty Classic took place on the main roster. The year before that was a part of the NXT brand. 2022, and the winners were Brutus and Julius Creed. They've won the Dusty Classic before. Will they be able to do so upon joining Monday Night Raw in two weeks? More to document on that matchup two weeks from now. But wait a minute, come on now. Cross again, going after Lashley as Joe Gacy went after Sami Zayn. And things are breaking down in this six-man tag team match. Cross, Gacy, and even though he's just standing there watching on, Solo Sokoa working like a well-oiled machine so far in this main event. Now Cross sending Sami right into the barricade. I'll tell you what, Sami Zayn has had his own story he's been trying to write over the last few months, and right now I'm sure it's the last thing on his mind is he just got his mind scrambled by carrying Cross. Of course, Sami Zayn's been trying to climb the ladder, earn another opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. Challenged LA Knight once before in a triple threat matchup, fought him again on Halloween night here on Monday Night Raw. Incredible contest, one of the best Intercontinental bouts of 2023. Sami Zayn's been trying to climb, climb back the rankings, excuse me, for the Intercontinental Championship ever since. Of course, the loss to Joe Gacy a few weeks ago, not doing him any favors. Remains to be seen if Sami can get back on track in 2024. Maybe the Andy's going to be up if Sami Zayn can win the Royal Rumble this Sunday night in Las Vegas. All the superstars of Raw, all the superstars of SmackDown ready to go all in, double or nothing, if you will, this Sunday night. Joe Gacy back in, we, in here. We yet to see Lashley and Solo Sokoa's legal men. I'm sure both of those men are itching to get into this matchup. And look at that. 
Say his name and he will fight. The Almighty has been tagged in, and it may not be Solo Sokoa he's opposing right now, but I'm sure Lashley itching to get his hands on the street champ. One to pick up right where they left off on Christmas night. Lashley gonna have to settle for Joe Gacy right now as he sends him into the corner. Gacy no small man, but anybody looks small in comparison to the Almighty. Well, look at that, Lashley allowing the tag. He wants Solo Sokoa inside the squared circle and the enforcer may have bit off more than he can chew. A barn burner between these two heavyweights seven nights ago. Right here on Monday Night Raw, Solo Sokoa was the better man. Lashley kicking himself for that loss. Knowing that he just devalued his chances at winning the WWE title on Sunday, it made it a triple threat. Lashley's looking to at least calm his mind a little bit and get a little bit of retribution against Solo Sokoa. These two men picking up right where they left off. Solo set right into the corner. I'm sure the WWE Champion Seth Rollins has got his eyes once more on this matchup now knowing he's got both Lashley and Solo opposing him in Sin City. Once more, big time belly to belly suplex. Lashley is rolling since entering this main event. I expect nothing less from the highly motivated, just a few weeks off a of return, Bobby Lashley ahead of the WWE title match. Solo Sokoa trying to turn the script. Sending Lashley into the corner. We're going to repeat history from seven nights ago and pick himself up and his partners another victory. Again, you look back at the last few weeks, we told you the stories, we showed you the stories. Solo, Gacy, and Cross, all in their own perspectives, have been the quote-unquote last men standing against the three men that oppose them tonight. In one way or another, interactions over the last few weeks, will the result be the same tonight, or will Lashley, Owens, and Zayn able to get a measure of retribution on the road to the Royal Rumble? But a minute, carrying Cross from behind now, Going for the straight jacket on Lashley. A position that Lashley has found himself in the past. Luckily, not gonna tap out just yet. Sami Zayn breaking the hold. Cross and Lashley have had some fights here on Monday Night Raw. You go back to June at Monday Night Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden. July, they fought in a tables match right here on Raw. Go back to SummerSlam. They were both a part of the WWE Championship match on that night. Karrion Cross, I'm sure, looking to get back in the Contention for the WWE title. Lashley looking to finally seize the opportunity on Sunday night. And a lot of action to keep up with right there. Lashley turned his sights to Solo. Cross turned his sights to the man who's been a thorn in his side for the last few months, Kevin Owens. Big time clothesline by Lashley. And the almighty starting to roll. I'm sure Lashley's got no problem picking a fight with Karrion Cross any day of the week, twice on Monday. Mean elbows right to the gut by Karrion Cross. Snap takes down Lashley. They're just trying to take out the strength and ground Lashley. Maybe the best case scenario for Cross and company here in Seattle. Once again, do not miss the Royal Rumble live this Sunday, T-Mobile Arena. 5 p.m. Eastern time, you saw the match card moments ago. It is gonna be a stacked night of action. Six championships being defended. The return of CM Punk. And we'll go one-on-one -on -one with The Miz, who just broke his losing streak against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus last week. And of course, the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. Sami Zayn getting tagged in. Full steam ahead, House of Fire. Boots to carry and cross. And now, Blue Thunderbomb. Will it win the matchup? Not just yet, Joe Gacy still alive. And Kevin Owens throwing Gacy to the outside. Sami Zayn turning his sights once more to the Harbinger of Doom. Cross dazed off the Blue Thunder. Into the corner. Hello, the kick! And I don't care how tough and intimidating Cross is, he may be seeing stars, but Solo Sokoa waking him up. Owens taking care of Solo. Owens, Zane, Lashley may be clearing house, but not to see a finish just yet. Now Lashley in the fight. Almeida got cut off that time, carrying Cross. Oh, look at this strength. Impressive as all hell. And now a cover. Not just yet. 
Owens breaking up the pinfall. Things are starting to break down in this six-man tag team main event. A lot of egos, a lot of issues. Crossing pass on the road to the Royal Rumble here tonight. None of these six men looking to go into this Sunday's events with a loss in the, should say with an L in the loss column. That would be more proper. Joe Gacy getting tagged in. Lashley sending them to enemy territory. Certainly not by will, but by force. And a tag made to Kevin Owens. Look at the unlikely duo of Owens and Lashley now. Sending Gacy for a ride. That's no small man either. Owens wasn't able to conclude the match with Gacy a few, a few weeks ago. A win by disqualification, not sitting well with the prize fighter. Look at this package spin out, down goes Gacy. Into the cover, but once more, Solo Sokoa is still rolling and breaks up the pinfall. Sami Zayn taking care of the enforcer. Owens taking care of Karrion Cross. Bodies flying left and right. Gacy dazed, and a stunner by Kevin Owens. Into the cover. And that's a three for Kevin Owens and company. A chaotic mid event here in Seattle, Washington tonight. But the first Monday Night Raw of 2024 has come to a close as Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Lashley get the last laugh on the road to this Sunday's Royal Rumble. What a chaotic main event here in Seattle. Here are your winners, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Lashley. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will be two of the 15 Raw superstars entering the 30-man fray. The Royal Rumble matchup to determine the main event of WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley, joined by Solo Sokoa and the champion himself, Seth freaking Rollins, will wage war over the WWE title. All that and more is coming your way, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, this Sunday night in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the 2024 Royal Rumble! Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rapper.